Cameron here. Today, we're going to look at importing assets using Maintenance Assistant. Why would you want to import an asset? The main reason is time. It's much faster to import assets than it is to enter them manually, one at a time. In order to import a list of assets, you need to set up a CSV, or Comma Separated Values, file. This type of file can be made using OpenOffice or Excel, or any other program that allows you to open up and use a spreadsheet. Before importing anything, we have to make sure that we've entered the correct information into our CSV file. Entering the correct information means you need the right column headings. We can find those at the Maintenance Assistant Help Desk. Go to helpdesk.maintenanceassistant.com and click on the Knowledge Base. Search the keywords, what kind of information can I import? Look for the link. This brings you to the import screen as well as all the possible column headings you can have when you import. Since we're importing assets, we're going to be dealing primarily with these headings. Before we assign column headings in our CSV file, we have to figure out what type of assets we're going to be importing. In this case, we're going to import two facilities and a piece of equipment. What this means is that not every entry or line in our CSV file is going to have data in each column. For example, if we have an asset that houses some equipment, it will not have a location code. The equipment will have a location code. I'm now ready to enter the data into my CSV file. Because I'm going to be importing two facilities and a piece of equipment, I'm going to use the following headings. Asset code, asset name, asset description, category, location code, location name, and user or personnel code. I'm now going to enter data into my CSV file. Before I save it, I need to make sure that I've put data in either the asset code or the asset name column. If my asset belongs somewhere, I need to make sure that I've entered information in the location code and location name as well. One or the other will do, but it's recommended you fill in both, the code and the name. I will now fill in the information starting with asset code. Now, as you can see, the file is completed. I save it and enter MACMMS to begin my import. Before we do that, I'd like to call your attention to some issues with the sheet we've just done up. First, I've spelt the column category wrong. There are also quite a few blanks in the sheet that we will deal with as we do the import. For example, leaving out a user or personnel code will not cause an error in the import, but there is no user that will be assigned to this asset when we add it. Let's go to MACMMS and begin the import. After entering your CMMS, go to Settings. From Settings, Go to Import. We're going to be importing assets, so select that. Find the file in your computer directory and upload it. Wait for it to finish uploading and hit Continue. Let's set the default category to locations and facilities. As we go down, we can see each column heading. Under category, you can see do not import. This means the CMMS does not recognize the column heading. In this case, we know why. It's because we spelled category incorrectly. To fix this, simply find category in the list. Select it. And now any data in that column category with two R's is going to be entered into the CMMS as the category of the asset. Hit continue. Wait for it to initialize. This is where you can see if there are errors. 
the error we get is unknown location code A345. Since we're adding this facility in the import, it's not recognized now, but it will import and assign the equipment to it properly. Import. Wait for it to finish. Total attempted records 3, created records 3. Failed records 0. This means there were no errors in our import, and it should be okay. Let's check out our asset hierarchy to double check. I look. Our safety room and manufacturing warehouse are both there. Let's see about our equipment. Our moving equipment is located inside our manufacturing warehouse, which is right where we said it would be in our import. In the safety room, you can see it was defaulted to a location and facility category. You can see the details that we included in the import if you enter and drill in to the asset. Personnel, description, name, etc.